And here's one, I don't know who this is from. It says, a worthy vision, a genuine real start in the right direction. How do we survive the transition period? I'm sorry about that, but the transition period will be painful. And if we get enough support, it'll be easier. But it's not an easy task. Moving from a monetary system to a resource-based economy, there's going to be trouble. I'm sorry, I have no control over that. Okay. We, as we said, we would like to do a major motion picture to introduce people in an entertaining way what the future could be like. And at the end, we'd like to have people walk out and say, why don't we build this today? We'd like to give them something to advocate that's possible and that's positive for the future of it, for everyone. Sense. And then we'd like to build a first city, a planning center, where people can come and look at it and see how it works. And then people from different parts of the world could go and build one in their, their country. So how, because you didn't really answer the question before, how do people get on board? How do they get on board? Oh, they write us, they send us letters and say, what do you want us to do to help this? And what do you tell them? We tell them to become familiar with the Venus Project, look at our website, and then hold meetings at your churches, a clubhouse, wherever you belong. The Venus Project is not about architecture, it's about a way of thinking. And if people learn this way, we're more apt to have a greatly improved world. It's not perfect. It's just a hell of a lot better than what we've got. We're asking and if you people don't understand that, I'm sorry. We're asking I can't people twist your wrist. I can only tell you that we are capable today of producing such an abundance. Don't take my word for it. Go to Sears, any department, you'll see lots of stuff. What the hell are you selling things for? If he gets a dental infection, a dentist makes a thousand five hundred bucks. If somebody dents your car, he makes money straightening it out. We're all predatory in this system. In the other system, we're all for humanity and the protection of the environment by all nations. It cannot be done in America alone. If you do it in America or England alone and the Russians and Chinese do nuclear experiments, they contaminate the ocean. We must invite all nations in so that there's no powerful group that controls anything. So though all the nations sit around in a circular auditorium a dome about 40 feet in diameter and they talk together about the planning center. So the Chinese say, I see no place for recreation and that occurs. It's an architect. And somebody says, yes, but what do you do in a hurricane? Well, the steel corrugated walls are slide instead of you nailing up panel boards. It shows all those things. What if a guy doesn't want to live in your city? Say he's a member of the Amish Somebody folk. asked that question, yeah. actually. The Amish people, like they would want to live in it. So we help them build. We'll build a city for them, but it'll be of fireproof materials. But if the Amish people say, we like wood, then you're responsible for fire or whatever you do. If you don't follow our plan, we don't hurt you, we don't remove support. But isn't that a bit totalitarian? Isn't it a bit do as we say? No, we don't say that. We say you just if you, you just join said. with us, we will share resources. If you don't, you, you have to be responsible for what you choose. If you say you want a swimming pool, we'll build it for you. But we will recommend lifesavers that can go out from a person and say, help. The lifesaver goes out and helps them right away. You say, I don't want that. No, well, that's up to you. If you don't want anything we have to offer, you are responsible. But we will help you do what you want. Or, okay. You understand? Yes. Fresco's voice is not the only one. You have every other point. We never build a city until a group of people come in called the study of the negative retroaction of any project. When you build a dam, to generate electricity, the fish can't get to the spawning grounds, so we build stepped systems where the fish can work their way up to the spawning ground. You just don't build a dam to generate electricity. Now the computers will tell us that five years after that dam is built, the water table is going to change 20 miles away because you cut off the tributary, and that will stop the beavers from building dams and trees will die. We can't do that. Computers can. So I want to use computers to assist human life, not to operate warplanes and machine guns and laser weapons. That's the wrong thing. Do you know that there's a project under the mountains for all senators to go to in America? 
I'm sure. And can support them for three, six months. What do you come out to? A burnt out radioactive planet? What the hell good is that? Any, That's no solution to any problems. Any